Hi guys, this is Ray Snow. Last time we implemented an NPC, so now we are no longer alone in this world. And in this video, we will implement a dialogue system so we can talk to him. Okay, first inside of this game panel, so we're gonna set a new game state public final int dialogue state. And then open this UI graph. Uh, let's delete this and uh, this. I think we are not using this anymore. I'm gonna delete this too. Alright, and in this draw method, we add another if statement. This is place state and pause state and now we create a dialogue state if gp.game state equal gp.dialogue state so if the game state is dialogue we call a method and do some dialogue stuff like uh, draw dialogue screen I think and we create this method public void draw dialogue screen okay first we create a dialogue window so window now we want to display a dialogue window somewhere around here and uh, so what we're gonna do is basically drawing a big rectangle here so first we set some parameters for the window int x int y int width int height and okay so for the x so it's somewhere around here gp dot tile size times two so two tiles to the right from the left edge and for y is one tile or maybe half tile to the bottom call gp dot tile size divided by two so and the width is screen so we subtract so four tiles from the screen width size times four and the height is gp dot tile size i don't know five tiles height so i just like calculating tile base like this but uh, you know if you want you can type number here like this this is also fine so with these parameters we create a kind of a mini window or sub window and I think we're gonna do it in a separated method since we will likely create this kind of window a lot so like public void draw sub window or something and this method receive x y width and height so yeah basically we're gonna pass everything to this method x y width height okay first we set the color of this sub window and I choose black but this time uh, so usually we type like this right but this time we don't use this default java color but instead 
we create a new color by typing RGB numbers. So like this, color C equal new color. And uh, so since it's a black color, so zero, zero, zero. And we're gonna set this C on this graphics 2D. Okay, and now with this color, we draw a rectangle. All right, G2, fill, round, rect. So this time we use this round rect. And when you draw this round rectangle, the graphics 2D asks you to fill these parameters. So X, Y with height, the usual stuff, and also arc width and arc height. So we can, you know, change the roundness of this round rectangle. And this time I'm gonna type 35 and 35. But you can adjust, you know, these numbers as you like. All right, and now go to this player class. And uh, inside of this interact NPC, we don't use this anymore. So if the index is not 999, that means player is touching an NPC. So we can change the game state here. GP.GameState equal GP.Dialog state. So with this, when the when the program draws this UI stuff, it calls this draw dialog screen method. Uh, okay, let's check this. Yeah. So I think I want to reduce the height a little bit because, you know, so yeah. So when the NPC is above you, then uh, this box basically hides him. So this is not so good. So uh, I'm gonna reduce the height of this sub window to four tiles. Yeah, this is better. So when you touch an NPC, this sub window shows up. But I think this window still looks kind of too generic. You know, I think it would look better if it had a white frame around it. So yeah, let's go back to this draw sub window method. And this time we set white color. She equal new color. And white is to 255, 255 and 255. This is the RGB number for white. And then, so to draw the frame, we set the stroke, stroke, and then new basic, basic stroke. And here we type the width of this stroke. And I choose five pixels. And with this, we draw another round rectangle. G2 dot. But this time, so not fill round rect, but just draw round rect. And the parameter is x plus 5, y plus 5, and width is minus 10. Height is also minus 10 and the uh, arc is like 25, 25. Okay, let's check. Oops, why? Ah, uh, yeah, of course, I forgot to set the color. G2.set color C. All right. Yeah. Hmm. I like this better. So this looks fine, 
but we can add a little more touch to make this even cooler. So when we set these RGB numbers, we can actually add one more number like this. So this fourth number is called alpha value. So basically it indicates its transparency or opacity level. So if it's 255, there's no transparency. I'll show you with some examples. Yeah, so with 255, there is no difference. But if it's 200, so it see the difference. So we can see the background. And if it's like 100, so the transparency increases. And if it's zero, nothing. It's completely transparent. So by adjusting this alpha value, you can change the object's opacity level. So for this black rectangle, I set like 210. Yeah, so you can somehow see the background, but the window is still kind of dark. So it's good for displaying text on it. Now let's display some text. Okay, inside of this UI class, first we create a string, public string, current dialogue. Okay, then inside of a entity, create a string array, string dialogues call new string size is like 20 okay then go to this old man class and we create a method public void set dialogue okay dialogue And here we can store some dialogue text for this character. So for example, like, hello, lad. So each character can have this dialogue array and you can put text in it. I set the length of this array 20, but if you want to add more dialogues, you can change the length and you can also replace the text inside of this array along the gameplay. Then we call this method uh, from this constructor. Then we create another method. So somewhere around here. Public void. I'm gonna name this speak. We create this speak method both in the subclass and also in this entity superclass too. Public void speak. Okay, now go to the player class and we call that speak method. So gp dot npc index i dot speak. All right, and uh, okay return to this old man gp.ui.current dialog equal uh, dialogues zero for now so we get a text from this array and pass it to this current dialog string in this ui class so now we can display this text in this UI class. Uh, okay, so inside of this this draw dialog screen, first we decide where to display the text. So the text should be inside of this sub window. So uh, x 
plus gp dot tile size so we just oops gp dot tile size and y plus gp dot tile size then we draw the text so g2 dot draw a string and the current dialog and x and y yeah let's check hmm okay the font is a bit large i think so let's change the size set font g2 dot get font derive font font dot plain so right now it's 40 i think yeah, so 32. Yeah, looks better. Then uh, let's add more dialogues to this NPC. One, two, three. One, two, three. And okay, so the second one is so you come to this island to find the treasure or something yeah now we we'll adjust our code a little bit so these texts can be displayed one by one in the entity class first we create an integer uh, dialog index zero and then uh, in this old man class so we change this zero to dialog index and after passing the dialog we increase this index So this way, you know, next time we call this speak method, then uh, this passes the next dialogue. Okay, uh, so, oh, and yeah, uh, we need to close the window. Right now it's not responding anything, so. Uh, okay, so open key handler. Okay, I think first we better check the current game state if gp dot game state call gp dot play state then we can basically move everything uh, yeah so this is play state and okay so pause state and also dialog state here gp dot game state equal gp dot pause state if gp dot game state equal gp dot dialog state so if game state is play state and if you press P then uh, game state changes to this pause state. Let's delete this. Yeah. And okay, let's copy this and uh, so if game state is pause state and uh, if you press P then the game state will change back to play state yeah so now this dialogue state ah and also this should be else i think else so if we are in the dialogue state and if we press like uh, enter key for example enter then 
we finish the dialogue state, so game state equal gp dot play state, not player state. Okay, check. All right. And uh, so press enter. Yeah. And talk again. Hmm. So the second dialogue is displayed, and uh, the text is bleeding out of the frame. But don't worry about it, we'll fix it soon. And uh, next text. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, yeah, now we got the uh, null pointer exception error because there is no text in the array index 4. So let's take care of this first. We add an if statement here if dialogues dialogue index equal null then dialogue index equal zero so if there is no text we go back to index zero Hello, lad. Yeah, the second text. The third one. Fourth. And the first one again. So now error is gone. But I think it would be better if the NPC turns themselves to us when we talk to them. Yeah, you know, this is like we are talking to his back. So inside of this speak method we create a switch or if statement and the condition is players direction the case up so if players direction is up then uh, we're gonna change this NPC's direction to down Okay, let's check. All right. Yeah. Hello, lad. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So this looks more natural, I think. And uh, I want to add a little more touch, or more like provide an option to you guys. Now, right now this dialog window opens up automatically when you hit the NPC but maybe some of you guys want to open it only when you hit a key so I actually like that better so let's go to this key handler first we're gonna add another boolean enter pressed and while we are in this play state, so we're gonna add this enter input. So we key enter. Oop. If we press enter, then uh, enter pressed equal true. And go to the player class. We check if gp.keyh. Oh, okay. I think we need to change this to public. And keyh dot enter pressed. So if we check if enter press is true or not. Okay, so if it's true, then uh, we do this. And make sure to set this false. After checking this, otherwise, you know, this will be true for good. 
Yeah, let's check. All right. So now dialog doesn't open up, but if you press enter, yeah, so you can talk to this NPC. So the now window opens only when you press enter key while NPC collision is happening. And finally, it's time to take care of the line break. So we want to break the line at some point. So we're gonna insert backslash n, backslash n. But this is not enough. If we are displaying text on a component such as JText area or JLabel, the line automatically breaks at this backslash n. But unfortunately, the graphics 2D's draw method completely ignore these signs. Show you. Yeah, like this, so nothing changes. So we need to do a little more adjustment. Okay, so inside of this UI class, uh, we type like this. For string line current dialog dot split and uh, yeah backslash n and okay let's copy and instead of this current dialog type line and after that we increases this y like 40 so what we are doing here is we split the text that is inside of this dialog at this keyword and get it as this line so basically you can use any symbol the line breaks at whatever you typed between these double quotations and after displaying a line we increase the y so the next line will be displayed below the first line yeah so let's check hello lad hmm yeah so you've come to this island to find the treasure hmm okay maybe font is still a bit too large okay i think i'm gonna decrease the si size a little bit 28 oh. yeah hmm hmm looks better much better so now the text is divided into multiple lines and displayed nicely let's go back to this old man class and maybe you have noticed but you know these lines can be shared by other NPCs too. So actually, we can move this to this entity class. And uh, we just call the method from here super.speak. Then, you know, it works exactly like before. So we don't need to type this every time we create a new character. Then maybe you think, then what's the point of creating this speak method here in, in its subclass? Yeah, so the program works without, without this. But uh, I created this because maybe we want to add some character specific stuff later. For example, if you have some kind of a special item, then uh, he speaks something different or yeah, like that. So leaving this method here makes such, you know, customization easier. Yeah. Do this character specific stuff. All right, so this is the basic system for displaying dialogues. And now let's talk about the uh, font in this game. 